So then you start thinking about, was 9-11 an event that was either, you know, was it, an, in, in, as Jose Argelis would put it, was it an, in, in, an inevitable event, sorry, yeah. inevitable event? You know, was it designed by the universe for it to happen as it did? Yeah. Um, you look into it further, and World Trade Center commenced building in 1966 and finished building it in 1977. So it took 11 years to create as well. Yeah. So you can move on from that and forget all that for the time being, and then you can get to September the 11th in history. And on September the 11th, 1990, at 9:09 p.m., that's 11 years prior to 9/11. George Bush Sr. made his very first speech entitled Towards a New World Order in the um, UN, you know, at the UN. Hmm. So this was 11 years prior. Hmm. And then if you take that back 60 years, so you go back to September the 11th, 1941, hmm. you'll realise that 60 years to 9-11, that was when the soil was broken for the Pentagon. Pentagon, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And so you've got this, this date, September the 11th, again, running through this kind of, you know, the nasty war machine of America, if you yeah, want to call it that. Exactly. Um, and so then, you, basically, there's something that happened much further back in time than that. And there's a book written in 1981, and it was called The Birth of, Birth, the Birth of Christ Recalculated. And it was written by a guy called Ernest L. Martin. And he claims to have uh, calculated the exact date of Jesus Christ's birth date based on celestial charts for that era. Yeah. Basically, he's worked out with the famous star of Bethlehem, which was, um, you know, he, he worked out that essentially Jesus Christ was born on September the 11th, 3 BC. And this book was released in 1981. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we've got another date there. Hmm. And, then, <laughs> and I, I think that that is, sorry to interrupt there, but I think that's a, actually a key area to why we potentially are seeing so many things uh, oriented around the 9 and the 11, 11 September, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. De mm. Definitely. Yeah. Not, yeah, definitely. I mean, when you when you comes into other significant events, for instance, when you you know think about America and NASA and stuff, the very first like shuttle that got to the moon was Apollo 11. Yeah, there you go. And then, for instance, in 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 Great Britain, um, I, I'm sure it's I think it's celebrated around the world actually. But on the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month, we celebrate Remembrance Day. In which uh, you know we we honour our war dead, but it's on an 11/11, and it's basically you know the Queen and a load of other people taking poppies to a cenotaph, which is an obelisk essentially. Essentially, yeah. <laughs> so, you know, little strange events going on all over the place. Indeed. I mean, talking about the Queen moving into royalty, and this is where I mean I'll lead much deeper into royalty later on. Mm. But um, basically, if you look into the history of the word crown and the royal crown. The word crown was derived from Anglo-French word called Karun, which is derived from Latin for corona. But the year that the word crown, you know, was first established was in the year 1111. Huh, really? That's interesting. Right. Huh, so, wow. You know, I mean, you, you, can't, you can't just say that these are coincidences, all of these things that are kind of like connected up. And I get to a point where, you know, at first I thought there were coincidences, but then you think, you know, yeah. What is this thing called chance? Yeah. <laughs> you know, what is it? Indeed. So anyhow, that's the groundwork for 11. Um, and then this is where I, uh, I mean, that was, I'd started seeing this time code 11.11 on clocks and stuff. And this is when I started getting this flood of information. I don't know where I've been receiving it from, but I've been receiving it from somewhere recently. <laughs> um, I, I don't know what it's all about, to be honest. But basically... Um, Sorry. Yeah. No, no. I just wanted to say it's it's uh, it's interesting, and to to some extent, I think that uh, this is uh, uh, in in a way uh, information that that wants to get get out. I think it's it's yeah. kind of a, a self-containing awareness within itself, meaning that it, it is trying to uh, yeah. re reach out and and teach us how things are interconnected. And, and I think that numerology and uh, so-called coincidence or meaningful coincidence synchronicity is. <laughs> It's a perfect way to demonstrate to us that everything is interconnected. And I think that there are so yeah. many levels to all of this. So what we're beginning to discover are some of the most, in a way, actually obvious and very clear uh, signs of this. But I, I would imagine that this is something that actually ru runs throughout exactly everything. If you have, yeah. you know, b basically the amount of time to study something or look at it uh, in yeah. close enough detail, exactly, you know. Yeah. I mean, uh, the, the thing with all the uh, the elevens for me is essentially, I, I'm, I mean, I come from the viewpoint, I believe in a uh, a mind before matter universe. Yeah. 
Um, you know, everything stems from consciousness. Consciousness precipitates matter, not the other way around. As scientists would have you believe it. Yeah. Um, and I mean, the the way that I can, uh, you know, kind of prove that to myself and hopefully to others is that I mean, I don't mean to be crude about this, but when, for instance, a man is sleeping and he has an orgasm in the middle of the night, right? The 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 process that has created that is not any physical action. It's all stemmed from thought. Yeah. And so if you think about that, then obviously that thought has then created the ability to create life. That's if right. If you understand where I'm coming from. Oh, yeah, so, definitely. Exactly. It's so, a very good I mean, point. That, that for me is the proof that everything is a mind before matter universe. You know, you can create life with thought. Yeah. And, you know, so that means that everything that you're looking at essentially is consciousness. Hmm. Um, and that, that is my way of like, kind of, that, that's, that's where I come from with a lot of this. And given the 11s, you know, connected with the Pentagon and connected with the 9-11, like World Trade Center disaster and everything. Mm. Um, that to me is indicative of someone else trying to hijack consciousness. I, I don't know what it is, but for me, there the seems to be some kind of other side of things that are hijacking this number for themselves. 